Hello everybody. Here I am standing alongside my lathe. And I've been thinking that it's about time I upgraded some of my tooling. And this time it's going to be parting or cut off tools. So I'm going to have a look around the internet and see if there's anything reasonable on, on offer. There are three that I really like to look at and that, that is Temu, Banggood and AliExpress. So I'll have a look at these and I'll decide on what I'm going to go for and let you know what it is. So let's go and see what I've chosen. This uh, range of tools from Banggood seemed reasonable to me and it also came with a set of 10 inserts and at the price of 12 0.7 odd GBP I thought it was good value for money so I duly ordered the item and it arrived in a reasonable time so far so good but all was not perfect when I put it in my tool post the tip of the tool was nearly three millimeters too high and with no packing under the tool holder I tried grinding some off the bottom of the tool but it was soon obvious that I wouldn't be able to do that. What I needed was a surface grinder, but unfortunately I didn't have one of those. But what I did have was an angle grinder and a CNC machine. Now could I combine these two items? Okay, so now I've got to find a way of mounting this. onto the z-axis in the same way that I've got my Cress router mounted. So I've got to make some clamps similar to these. Now I have to find appropriate holes on the angle grinder to make a, a, a clamp for. So what have we got here? Well we've got three holes, two on the side, the one on the top there. Now are they in line? So I'll have to do some clever measurements. Make sure I've got those right. And I'm thinking that I can make some templates first of all. I think I'll make a, a plastic template to get this width precise and a wooden one in 3D so that I can find out if these holes are all in line or not. So that's the plan. And so after some careful measurements, I came up with this. I then transferred these measurements over to the Vectrix software and produced a 3D representation of it. That looked all right. So I produced a plastic copy of it, which seemed to fit fine. Then a wooden mock-up in 3D to make sure I had got the mounting holes perfectly in line. This gave me the confidence to go ahead and make the final part. Then after milling the back face square and flat I set about drilling some of the mounting holes well it fits the angle grinder but there's two more holes to drill here one here and one on the other side 